2007 Audi RS4 convertible. So this is the 4.2 litre, 414 horsepower, Quattro convertible, nuclear missile, whatever you want to call it. This one's particularly low mileage, 50,000 miles. Um, it's obviously been very well cared for. You know, alloys, alloys are clean, not covered in curb marks, things like that, but we'll show you as we go around. It's just had an engine out service, so that's chains and everything. Um, and while I remember, we'll jump straight to, there is a center cap missing from this wheel. It's in the post. I'll clip it on as soon as it turns up. So starting with the bodywork, if we look at this driver's side, if we look down the side, apart from the giant flared arches, you can see that the bodywork's lovely and straight. It's not full of filler. It's not covered in ripples or anything like that. It's really nice and straight all the way down that side. It's front driver's side wing, where the bumper meets is lovely and clean. Obviously you've got this massive air dam and everything on the front, which looks fantastic, I think. These obviously these huge flared arches on the front as well, as you can see. Normal Audi sort of stop about here. These flare out, it's even bigger at the back. Lovely and clean all the way around that arch, as you can see. The standard um, alloy wheels on this one, so it's not had a set of nasty aftermarket ones put on. There's no sign of any curbing anywhere around that. It's obviously got the big RS4 two-piece brakes with the massive calipers, and they've got the correct colors and everything on them. No signs of any marks or anything on that wing. If you look in the light, the metallic flake in the paint on these RS cars is fantastic. Door gap all the way down this side, it's lovely and clean. That side skirt's all nice and tidy all the way along. There's no marks at all on this driver's door. In fact, I'm lying to you, there's a very tiny little scratch just there. You can just see it on the camera. Coming down this side, all the correct barging, that's not faded or peeled or anything like that. Or on the seams quite nice and tidy there's no signs of any corrosion or anything coming through anywhere on that arch another good wheel and tire like i say that caps on its way again if we have a look here with the light again lovely and straight all the way down all this chrome trim all this sort of satin silver trim it's nice and clean all the way around we'll have a good look at the convertible top in a second we'll get that put down as well in there is all nice and tidy underside of the rear Bumper on the driver's side, that's nice and clean. Obviously you've got these two massive oval exhausts. They sit nice and straight. It's got parking sensors on the rear. No scuffs or anything on that corner. Working our way around on the passenger side again. No scuffs, no marks or anything like that. Both rear tail lights, nice and clean and bright and clear. No sign of any moisture or cracking or anything. And then the top of this deck lid, lovely and clean and tidy. No sign of any dents or marks or anything. Where it meets the trim along here that's all good as well and then coming down the passenger side same as the other side lovely and straight no sign of any filler no ripples or anything like that sort of kind of struggling to find any marks or anything it's obviously been very well cared for it's arch lovely and clean all nice and tidy down the bottom there another good wheel and tire the hood obviously fabric folding hoods on these as you can see it's got a heated glass rear screen obviously not been stored with the roof down or anything like that because it's not got the usual sort of stress marks or anything like that on it it's not been parked under a tree there's no green in it really really good and again this lip all the way along nice and tidy we've pressure washed the car today there's no sign of any moisture getting into it or anything like that so it's always good to know on a convertible working our way down this passenger side all the same story as the driver's side there's not a mark on it really maybe got a very very tiny one just there there you go it makes for a boring video but it makes for a really nice car even the corners of the wimmer is lovely and clean again another nice clean tidy arch on this front you get a better look at those calipers there nice gloss black they've got the rs logo on them it's got the larger two-piece brakes round onto the front headlines are nice and clear all this trim around the grill that's good it's got parking sensors on the front Fog lights are clear as well. Normally on A4s and S4s and RS4s, they get a bit cloudy and horrible, but they're good. Stone chip wise, we've got nothing on that front bumper, uh, front bonnet lip, nothing at all. And then on the bumper itself, same story. I can't see a single stone chip. So obviously not been thundering up and down the motorway. And then bonnet wise, lovely and straight. Obviously, as you can see, as we're going around, it's all one color, cell, uh, gray. It's not had any nasty paint jobs or anything like that. You know, there's no color difference between the bonnet and the wings. So yeah, body work is really, really good. And then the interior, we've got dark gray on the outside, 
black leather on the inside. It, the RSs did have the option of piping. This one's got the, the, the white or the light gray piping on the seats. Minimal, minimal wear on that bow. So there's nothing at all to worry about there. And a tiny little bit there, just from probably a fat lad like me getting in and out. It's the RS4 branded seats. Now these perforated Audi performance um, steering wheels wear terribly, whereas this one, because it's got all these holes, they've got less, obviously less material to take the wear. But as you can see, this one, really, really good all the way around. None of the, uh, the buttons have faded quite often. You'll get these sort of peeling off and things like that, but this is really good all the way across. As you can see, it's got the nav unit, dual zone aircon, heated seats, all the stuff you'd expect from a top of the range Audi. And then into the back, I don't think that's been used at all. But what we're going to do is I'm going to start it up. In fact, I'll show you the boot first. And then we're going to start it up and we'll have a better look at the interior. So we've got some proper light in there. The boot and the side, lovely and clean. Don't think that's been used to haul anything at all. And then you do have this um, sort of convertible section of the boot where you can um, get rid of this holster for the boot. Got a cigarette lighter and everything all in there. But like I said, there's no sign of any or anything in there all the toolkit and everything's in there there's also the um kit for a, what looks like a c-tech charger yeah so again sign of good ownership been kept on a trickle charger it does have the bose audio as well this one and more importantly it's a manual no automatic gearbox in here so this one is push button start you turn it on with the key press and hold the button it's worth pointing out the air con and the dial and the dash none of the pixels are missing quite often these can have pixels missing which can be quite annoying uh, but none of that and obviously you've got your larger nav unit the tilt out bit to get to the memory cards behind does work quite often those motors can go a bit faulty um, and then again if we can work out how to clear the door memory you'll see no warning lights we've got one for the seat belt with me sitting in it and then one for a handbrake which we can remove electric roof is off a button no clasps or anything. Hit the button. And away the roof goes. Opens that deck lid at the back. And then the top itself folds in. And then you've got obviously four, four windows, but you do have the option to hit the one button and they'll all go down in one go, which is always nice. Um, now this car does have the optional S button, so you hit that button, it changes the exhaust, the throttle position and all that sort of stuff. Um, so if I give that just a gentle rev now in normal mode, still sounds pretty good, hit that button, so you can hear a big difference, turns it into a bit of a snarly monster. Nothing coming out the back of the, um, the, the exhaust there again, one of the issues on these cars is the is the timing chains one of the signs that's oil spitting out the back but as you can see nothing coming out nothing on the floor like i say it's just had the engine out and had that uh, that work done it's done on mileage and time it is low mileage like i mentioned it's done 51,121 miles so it's not due that to be done on the mileage but it is for, for the time again another good sign of ownership most people tend to just follow the the, the mileage and in here it's got that signature Audi injector noise, which they all do. I've done that from brand new. These, the R8s, S4s, anything with a 4.2, the KNs, all that sort of stuff. That's that signature noise. So there you have it. Well, another look at that interior, like I promised. So obviously we can see it now. Lovely and clean. All the bolsters are nice and firm. The back seats don't like they've been, look like they've been sat in at all. They're all electric memory heated all that kind of stuff everything you'd expect and then again there's no sign of anywhere the door shuts are lovely and clean the seats themselves are lovely they're not shiny or anything like that they're the correct matte that they should be dash and everything's lovely as well like i said parking sensors front and rear and this silver trim all the way around is really really nice and clean as well so there you have it we'll shut the bonnet properly 2007 Audi RS4. If you've got any more questions, please let us know. If you want to come and have a look at the car, not a problem. Let us know, we'll book you in. If you can't get to see it again, give us a shout. We can do video calls. We can send you extra photos or videos, anything you might want. 
as you'll notice the lights are on so we've got auto lights in this one as well like i say any questions just let us know thank you